We're late for our first show. <laughs> Welcome to Copenhagen Fashion Week. How was your first show, Nuri? It was good. Wait, wait, wait actually. for the lighting. Yeah, it was good. It was that good. was a Jester's show? Yeah, very Y2K vibes. Low rise pants, low rise skirts. <laughs> I'm not ready. Everyone was very well moisturized. Yes, yeah, shiny legs. Shiny, yeah. shiny legs. Shiny legs. Yeah, and we're, and <laughs> so we're taking this bus now to the next show. Yeah. What's the next show? Love Child. Love Child, yeah. There's a wasp right behind you. In fashion week is the only time where it's not like creepy to take pictures of people. So I've just got a camera pointing at Nuri's face. It looks so gloomy, but it's actually so warm out here. Like the clouds are in the sky, but it's about 20 degrees. We're trying to get a taxi, but there's always a shortage of taxis. These new shoes I'm wearing from the Attico, they are cutting into my foot like so bad. Now I understand why everyone says they're uncomfortable because I'm in a lot of pain. But fashion hurts, baby. Look how I'm wearing them. Like my foot is half out because there's a cut here on both sides. I think it's the leather. Once the leather softens, I'll be fine. Hi guys, welcome to the Copenhagen Fashion Week vlog. This morning, you probably would have seen snippets of us going to the Just Do show and then the Love Child show. We arrived in our hotel two o'clock in the morning last night. We haven't had much sleep, so it was early start. True got up to go and collect my dress that I'm wearing from Just Do's from the PR showroom um, while I got ready. And then he also brought us breakfast and then headed off to the show. We were running a little bit late, but we made it in time. Got to watch the show, which was really cool. Very Y2K vibes, lots of low rise, which I'm a little bit nervous about because I'm not a low rise girl. I say this and then like, you're gonna see me wearing low rise stuff in a couple of months. No, you won't. And then I went to the Love Child show and now we have a gap between shows, which is great. So we can go out to eat. Also, I wanna do a little bit of shopping. Um, I feel like last time we came to Copenhagen, we didn't really get to explore much of it. Um, so it'll be nice to kind of go out. And this hotel we're staying at this time is the Radisson, which is a lot more central. So it's nice and it's a different area to what we stayed at last time. I'm suffering currently from period pain like a really intense period pain it's the first day i don't know how i even got out of bed and then um blisters i wore my new attico heels and they have given me blisters on both my feet that if cut into it i think it's the leather it needs to be softened so i might need to wear them around the house when we get back to london with socks on to break the leather because they have cut me on the first day so i've got my compete on um but yeah we're currently really hungry it's about one o'clock so we're gonna go grab some lunch we'll obviously take you along with us i've got changed into a very casual comfy outfit and then we've got some shows in the late afternoon which i'll get changed for so we'll come back and get changed the cleaner hasn't come to our room yet which is not nice yeah the room is really messy right now <laughs> so literally we just came in yesterday yeah and went straight to bed yeah and Woke then up straight to the show yeah we didn't even get to unpack so yeah. I think once the cleaner comes in, we'll get to unpack. But right now, I need to get food inside me because I'm starving. I didn't have breakfast. True got breakfast, but I was a bit nervous. Like, I feel like it's always the first show I'm a little bit nervous for. And then after the first show, it's fine. I don't know why I get nervous, but I get this, like, sick feeling. Earrings, by the way, random. But they're from Loveless, Loveness Lee. Nuri wasn't feeling well, so we got some Walt. Walt? It's like the delivery. Ooh. So this is a zucchini... Uh, with some cheese thingy. It's like a white pizza. Yeah, a white yeah, pizza. Yeah, my stomach hurts so bad. The tablet's not working. No, I think mean, you need to eat. I'm trying to recover before the next show because I don't want to miss it. Because it's one of, one of my favourite brands, Remain. Yeah. <gasps> and then this okay, is... This looks good. Margarita. This place is called Pizza, the Pizza Bro. So it's day one, first show, second show done. And we're already, like, tired. Uh, <laughs> in pain. Well, Nuri's in pain. Yeah, I was all dressed, ready to go out. But then um, 
my stomach is really hurting and I would rather like use this time to recover and then actually enjoy fashion week properly because we have two more shows cool, we'll catch you guys later Hey guys, I am ready for the next show. I'm still not feeling 100%, like my stomach is hurting so much, but I've just taken some tablets. Hopefully it'll be okay. This is the only usable mirror in the room because the room is an absolute mess. Yeah. This is my outfit. Jacquemus, uh, Remain. This is the show I'm going to today, so perfect coat. My jaded London cargoes, I'm wearing some green wedges and my Bottega bag. What are these? Do you think these are non alcoholic? Yeah. Can you grab me one? But I don't know where the bottle is. Yeah, yeah. We're early for once, like we're actually sitting down. Yeah, like it's not rushing. Empty seats. Everywhere. But it actually must be running late because it's 4 47. This drink is very nice. It's a grapefruit, yeah. pink grapefruit. What are you wearing today? Chocomus, Remain, Jaded London, and yeah. Very nice. Made it on the bus, guys. Yeah. I think we're late for the other show, so. But I think it won't start without. No, we're, we're, good. we're a good timing. It's dinner time. Ooh. We're going to meet our friends. And this is the plaster situation. I almost, I can't walk. Yeah. Like it's, my skin has actually come off. Like the skin has come off the foot. It's so painful. No, not too close to my Not too close. But yeah, I look like a weirdo right now. We're ready. Um, I've had to go with an outfit. I wanted to wear actually a specific outfit for the Stein Goya show. What's the time? Okay, we're good. To... Um, but my feet are literally ripped apart, so I have to wear this because I can only wear flip flops. These are the only shoes I can wear, and these trousers cover the shoes, which is good because these flip flops are not a vibe for fashion week. It's really sad because I had an amazing outfit planned for the Stein Goya show, but I'm gonna, I mean, I love this outfit, but. After today, I don't know what I'm gonna wear because the only shoes I can wear are my flip flops. I'm hoping tomorrow my feet can bear like other shoes, but this is the outfit. Dion Lee top, my Jacquemus trousers, which are about three years old, my favorite trousers ever, uh, my Bottega spaghetti bag, and my Prada sunglasses and Majuri earrings. And we're ready to go, and we're not running late for one. This is what I'm wearing, guys. Ignore the background, but this is my massive camera, got the vlog camera. And yes, they bought this vintage strap for the vlog camera, um, so I can have it on my hand and operate this camera still. Okay, we're gonna go now.
guys, we didn't make it on the bus. <laughs> so we're just trying to find a cab. Shortage of cab. Yeah. Should have booked it beforehand. So it's later on in the evening. We skipped one show because we couldn't make it. Yeah, because we missed the um, coach. It was too full. So now we're going to our next show. This is my outfit. Guys, the sandals. I managed to put my foot in the mango hills, which True has in his hands. So These I'm going to wear this to go down. When we get in the car and about to get to the location, I'll change the shoes. Because this is not a vibe. Like, yeah. come on. <laughs> <laughs> but... The mango heels have come through because I think I've had these for like two, three years now. The leather's stretched, so they're quite soft, and they're not touching the point on my foot that's cut. So that's my savior of the day. Um, this dress is from Talia. I'll have to write on screen. I have no idea. I got it from Selfridges, and it's a brand that I've not heard of before. Uh, it's really cool because it comes with this like off-the-shoulder cardigan that's attached to it. Uh, my sunglasses are from Gucci. We got them from the outlet in France, in Paris. My arm is Kelly, and then I'm gonna wear my mango heels. Originally, the shoes I was supposed to wear was the Attico heels. These ones. <laughs> the devils. The culprit. These are the kind of heels that you have to just wear for picture. And yeah. Take off. Like I'm never gonna wear them out. And I'll these. Say three to go. These are yeah. the pluses that we've been, have been using. Have been saving me because I've literally been in so much pain. Yeah. So they're really thick and sticky and expensive. They're like <laughs> five pound a plaster. For yeah, one piece. five pound per plaster. Serving pizza at the show. Guys, <laughs> it's because my foot. You know these the heels are so comfortable as well. Yeah. But it's the fit. It's like I feel like it's cutting into my foot. <sighs> this is like a very feety vlog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the foot content out there for you guys. No. We're the party play. was so good. Yeah, it's not a party. Pizza. It's the show. Yeah. Yeah. It was really good. Hi guys. In case you forgot me, I'm Nuri, and I'm sorry I haven't been vlogging. It's just been really hectic, but that's fashion week for you. But Trude's done a great job at like trying to film behind the scenes whilst also getting content of us. Um, but we're very happy because we had pizza. We're yeah. going to go back to the hotel and chill. Yeah, that was so good. Yeah. Hey guys, so I felt like this was the same position I was in on the first day when we were going to go to... Um, there was a lamp. I look like I've turned. It's just the lighting. Um, <laughs> I honestly think, this is a serious thing, but I think I have ADHD. Like I have a lot of the symptoms of ADHD and I'm going to try and get a test to see if I do because that is quite serious if I have it. Like serious in sense that serious. Like no, serious in sense that I should get medication for it to help me because it is it's something that can really like interfere with your life. But it hasn't so far. Because I have friends with ADHD and anyway, off topic. Yeah, I just feel like I haven't been very present on the vlog, which I find so frustrating because I hate vlogging when there's not much of like me talking to you guys because I I don't know I don't like it when I'm not talking to you guys. Um, but honestly, it's just been really hectic and I've not been well. Like I'm on my period and I suffer really really badly like I'm in a lot of pain um, and it does ruin a lot of my life <laughs> like whenever I am on I basically can't do anything for that period I've really been like forcing myself because obviously it's fashion week and this only happens twice a year and like I'm here specifically for fashion week and to go to shows so I kind of just have to dose up on medicine and pull through which I've been trying and then my foot issue that happened like I literally feel like there's been so many obstacles thrown at me it doesn't sound like much, but my skin has been cut. I'll insert a picture here. Oh, trigger warning first. If anyone wants to skip anything gruesome, to skip the next few seconds. I'll put a picture so you guys can see, but like on both sides of my foot, the skin has completely peeled off. So it's like raw flesh. It's just really, really painful. 
the only thing I can wear is flip flops, but then I managed to wear my um, mango mules today because I think the leather's really soft, which is great because it meant I could wear this outfit because let me tell you now, this up with flip flops, let me show you actually. Let me tell you something. It's, let me tell you something. <laughs> it's not a vibe. Wait, True, you're gonna have to show them what the outfit looks like with flip flops. Because oh. I feel like people, if I stand up, you can't see, but okay. I'll do it afterwards or I'm gonna forget. Um, but yeah, it's been a really lovely fashion week. Like I've absolutely loved it. And I hope that you guys have got to see glimpses of it and bits of it, because I really appreciate True being really hands-on with the vlog. And he's also trying to get pictures of me with the camera as well and vlog. So shout out to True, everyone. Say thank you to True. <laughs> it's eight o'clock, we're back. There's no more shows. There's so many after parties that we've been invited to, but we are just exhausted. And I'm not going to an after party with my flip-flops on with the chance of probably someone stepping on my foot. I mean, even if my foot was okay, I wouldn't go because I really don't like partying. Like, I just would rather be in bed with a bubble tea, watching Netflix, like that is my ideal situation. So that's what we're doing. We've ordered a bubble tea and we're just gonna chill for the rest of the evening. Tomorrow is the last day of shows and I have a few shows tomorrow. So that's exciting. Uh, my fiance. No, basically I, I just go around taking pictures of Nuri and I bring along other photographers. So that's the plan. Like, if I'm shooting you with a massive camera, everyone else will follow. Yeah. And that's what happened at this show. And I think other people thought I was taking pictures of them, but... Like, I was oh, just, did they? I was just waiting for the... Like, there was this guy... Yeah, next he was to posing. Me. He was posing. Oh, for I you. I was just waiting for him to <laughs> move away. That's so rude. But he was just posing, like... like <laughs> oh, bless. Yeah. Yeah, but that's because, like, you think... Yeah, because like, everyone, I would start everyone's posing because everyone's there to take pictures. Shot, yeah. Yeah, it's so, like, when there's photographers there, you just pose because that's what they're there for. Get yourself a man. That will <laughs> break your shoes in for you. These are the shoes that killed my foot These are the and corpus. ruined my fashion week. I'm trying to stretch them. But True, what did you say when you put them in? They're so painful. They actually they are, aren't they? Maybe and I was. Is they're not my size. <laughs> I'm struggling. How do you walk on this? I'm exposing our very messy hotel room. Right, let me do a walk. Okay, let's see how good your walk is. <sighs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, go back. <laughs> This is entertainment for me. Okay, go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. are. Oh my goodness. I will only wear them but to take a picture. But you know what? They are quite stable, like... Yeah, because they've got a block heel. <laughs> it's because they've got a block heel. But they are cutting but me so It's much. the front bit. All right, don't. it's fine. Don't worry, babe. I'm not going to wear no, them. I'm definitely stretching them. <laughs> Thank you. You've got the goods. Not from Just Eat. Why do they have Just Eat? Oh, I actually got the same as you, but different toppings. So it's actual fruit they give true. Wait, oh, oh. Oh no, they think they give it to everyone because I've got it in mine. Oh, I think this is yours. Look how many. He got a rainbow of tapioca. <laughs> <laughs> Look. No, because they give six toppings for free. So it's uh, it's from a place called Haiji. Haiji. Higiji. <laughs> Can you show mine? So I have coconut jelly, passion, no, peach, popping boba, and tapioca. Nice. So we do that at the same time. Cheers to everyone at home. Cheers to everyone at home. Clink, clink. I really like Copenhagen as a city. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's so nice. Like, there's so many nice restaurants, cafes. I love the vibe. It's so chill. Everyone's so friendly. You're going to do the pictures? Yeah, and then we're going to Netflix, have bubble tea. Thanks, True, for being such a good sport. I am your fiance. And you are also part of this company, so... Yeah, con contractually, I have contractually, to, I you have actually to be have there. To, yeah. Because <laughs> a lot of people are like, True's such a good boyfriend, but I mean, I'll feel insane. Like, my friends will say, oh, I told my boyfriend that True hates pictures of you. But I'm also like, don't be mean to your boyfriends, because True is also like, it's his full-time job now. Yeah. But it, it, but it also obviously helps when he is so supportive, regardless of, like, it being his job or not. He does a lot for me outside of his job description, so <laughs> <laughs> let's end the time lapse of this oh, sunset. Yeah. That's really beautiful. Beautiful sunset right there. Cue the time lapse of sunset. Morning, guys. Good morning. I've just about managed to get out of bed, and I'm struggling to walk. So we're going to where we went yesterday for breakfast because it's like the closest place and I can't go too far and then after yeah. this we're gonna go to a pharmacy because it's really painful my foot and like I can't even like to stand on it this morning was excruciating so I think I need to get some like proper dressing yeah. for it or something I don't think this 
but this plaster is good because it gives me cushioning but everyone's saying like all my doctor friends I have well, I have two doctor friends and they've all, they've both told me to um put like a gold put, like a gold on it like a cotton thing so I'm gonna listen to my doctor friends yeah. facts of having doctor friends <laughs> This is where we're going, Social Brew. It was really nice yesterday, so we're gonna have it again, and it's nearby. This is the menu, I think I'm gonna get like a set menu, so you get one of each. I'm gonna go for sourdough bread, maybe chia pudding, uh, scrambled tofu, and sausages. So now we actually have the vlogging camera to vlog today's breakfast. So beef sausages, I have the fried eggs today. We're sharing some sourdough toast. This chia pudding looks really good. I'm gonna try some. I love chia. Yeah. True got the beef sausages and then he got tofu tofu <laughs> tofu scrambled eggs. And we have our juice. I have a carrot, ginger, and orange juice and an iced coffee for true. We um well I got back, did my makeup because we're going to the Dorothy Schumacher gifting suite to like pick out something that they're gonna gift me with, which is very nice. And then come back to the hotel, quickly get ready, and then go to the next show. So my makeup is ready, which means I can just come back, put my outfit on, and then go. I'm still wearing the same outfit. In the morning. First outfit of the day, well like the fashion week outfit. So I'm wearing this top which is from True what is the brand we said it today. Vikas Bucks. I got it from Farfetch, it's a really cool top. And then I'm wearing it with a peplum skirt, uh, a mini skirt, white one. Then I've got this silver bag which is sourced from Source Unknown store. The original look was supposed to have these hills on these silver hills can you see how cool they are let me show you so these were the hills that i was supposed to wear with this look do you get the vibe like the silver the silver like how perfect is that combination but this is the only shoe that i can put on other than my flip-flops and i'm not wearing my flip-flops without with this outfit so they're nude and they're just gonna have to work i literally tried i really really tried to put these on but I think where this sits is the same cut as the Attico ones so it's literally will it will be sitting at the same point where the blister is so I can't wear those I look like a tourist next to you but this outfit is cool yeah I'm really feeling it We're back from the show my hair is up did you manage to vlog anything from the show true when i was there um a little bit but i feel like the sax box show was very disappointing oh because it's like all over the place i don't know it's, i thought it, would be, it was really hot my be nicer. my issue was i was sitting in front of the sun and the good thing is with a lot of these shows true can come in with me but he'll be like standing so i'll be sitting down he'll be standing so he was standing opposite me and he took some pictures or recordings of me because obviously he was I was POV and um, my face was like this because the sun was in my face like it was really hard to see the outfits because we were like sat in this square in the public um, and there were wasps and bees flying near me and I had to just kind of compose myself and ignore it um, I, I enjoyed the show I don't know why True didn't enjoy it I thought it was quite good um, but I think my only thing was that it was in the sun and it was like so hot but I really love my outfit that I wore for that show I think it's so cool I love these earrings I'm sorry but like these are the coolest earrings ever and they were like 20 pounds I'm gonna link them down below right now we're just chilling before the next show my 
feet are really hurting my blister so i think i might have to wear flip-flops for the next show because i've been really pushing it wearing my mango mules got some strawberries i want that's why i picked up the camera actually so i picked up the vlog camera because i wanted to actually show you guys these strawberries that true got i love how they come in this little um recyclable thing like a little punnet of strawberries you've washed some he also picked up some apples we haven't had any fruit on this trip apart from our bubble tea <laughs> having an apple what are you doing now true editing some pics and a rule guys i had to pick up the camera because so one of the photographers that i met at um Copenhagen Fashion Show, look, i kind of speak i'm so excited it's not even like that big of a deal well for me it's like a big deal basically um this photographer i met at fashion week sent me my thing and l i'm on i'm gonna link the article and i do a screenshot that's me guys that's me on the best street style from copenhagen fashion week spring 2023 and i'm the first bitch on there <laughs> this is so exciting for me like i just i for me this is just like a full circle moment like i know it's like it's not a massive deal to some um and it's like generally like it's just like obviously i'm just i i need to stop playing it down you know what that's something that a lot of people do like if it's something is exciting for yourself you should just own it and not have to play it down so that other people can be like oh that's not that exciting you know what i'm gassed about it <laughs> um because like me i'm just i'm just nuri like i started this in lockdown i don't know why this is making me emotional i think because i'm on my period as well but like seeing that has just made me feel so like i don't know like it's so weird to see myself on that website like i used to pick up our magazines when i was younger and vogue and all these magazines and like to see myself on there and like i'm on the phone you click on the page like my picture is there and i'm just like there's so many times that i've doubted myself or like doubted my style or doubted what i'm doing and like it's moments like this that really make me like realize what i'm doing is worth it and like i should keep going and it's so Oh, it's just so in like oh, I, don't know. <laughs> I feel so emotional but like I'm so happy because I just I can't believe that's me on there and another one of my pictures on there so that was the front cover um, of the article was my picture and then when you scroll down there's another look of mine that I wore on the first day so it's just like it's just crazy for me so yeah just this is your this is your message if you needed it to keep going at whatever you're doing and keep doing it and you know keep pushing yourself and just do what makes you happy because it's all worth it in the end and i'm just so happy yeah okay i'm gonna go back to my phone and chilling. <laughs> i was literally on my phone chilling and then the photographer dm me that and i was like right pick up the vlog camera i need to tell my family on youtube that is the situation i will link the article down below if you're interested in it <laughs> and i'll put a screenshot of what it is but yeah how long are we oh my god we need to go the next show is in I forgot about the time. We've got half an hour. Oh, damn. Okay. We need to get ready for the next show, guys. I need to not get too excited about being on L and actually think about the next show. Okay, we'll see you in the next show. Also, I love this bag that Dorothy Dorothy, Schumacher. Dorothy Schumacher gave. It fits all my camera stuff and crossbody as well. I look like a postman with this bag. Kind of cool. <laughs> guys so we are back at the hotel after that show and i wasn't going to change my outfit because i really liked it but we already got content in that outfit and i already got shot in that outfit so i might as well get changed so this isn't a very this is a very chill outfit and this is actually an outfit that you could i would say it's not very fashion weeky although fashion week you can literally wear whatever like people wear what they would wear to the supermarket like it's whatever you want to wear but i like to go a bit over the top for fashion week like i like to wear things that I wouldn't usually wear kind of just going out shopping or whatever because it's your chance to kind of express yourself through fashion. This outfit, I'll show you guys in the mirror. So this, if you can see, I mean, you'll see a better show outside, is a beautiful dress I picked up today from Dorothy Schumacher. It's the first dress I tried on when I went to the gifting suite and it's like floor length. And I just thought this was a really nice kind of classic look with the pop of orange. And then I've tied up the twilly. I have an Hermes twilly in my hair. I feel like that brings out the orange tone from the bag, but it's a very subtle, I'll get true to show you from behind. Pillow chocolate. 
hit a wall, simple minds want it all, take it off, cover clock. Guys, we are outside. We're very outside we take. This is actually... Oh, this is the Arena Bella Arena. And this was the hotel we were vlogging. It looks really oh, cool. Oh yeah, you can show my outfit properly now. So it's a dress from... Dorothy Schumacher. Dorothy Schumacher, yeah. Very nice. And the coming back my hair. Very cool. What sunglasses are she wearing? These are from Astery Vision. Drink it off, take it off, take it off, take it off, put them and blues. Sipping on gin and juice. So we're at Rotate and that thing is rotating. Oh, that's what it's doing. <laughs> it looks like um, oh. a prom. Yeah, it feels like prom. I mean, that was the last show. And it was the best one. And it was the best one. Like, so the good. music, the playlist. Oh my god, every, the outfits. Like, I want to wear everything that I saw. Yeah, Such a nice really way good. to end Fashion Week, actually. Yeah. That was a great ending. Now we're so going to go to dinner. Yeah, we're going to go for dinner. Yeah, I think we, that was the, the show that I recorded the most, because yeah, I was like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah and it's just so You know where other shows are like, oh, that's nice, and then one, two, and then it's repetitive. Yeah, but everything, but then was, everything was very different. Very nice. Yeah, and then the ending. Like, I also saved my phone, because normally I record at the end, when yeah. they show all the outfits again, but they had different different outfits. They had all red outfits on. Yeah, that's so very different. So you probably have more footage than me. So we'll put in. We'll <laughs> yeah. So rotate. Good job. Ten out of ten. Good job. So we're on our way to dinner. We're going to Cantina, which is actually a restaurant we tried to go to last Fashion Week, um, but it was actually fully booked. So Kieran booked it. So we're going to go meet them and some of our other friends at Cantina, which is supposed to have the best pasta ever. Are you excited for pasta tree? I'm so hungry. Yeah, I mean, we it's haven't like the eaten. First proper meal. That's not like delivery. Yeah, we've only had breakfast today. Yeah. So we're gonna have dinner now. <laughs> 